Hey guys, I'm Ganesh and you're watching Gadget Class. So in this video, we are going to tell you how the Redmi Note 5 Pro is. I have been using the Redmi Note 5 Pro for the past 100 days and I have used it in every way possible. So I have tell you, I'll tell you all the pros, the cons and should you even consider buying the Redmi Note 5 Pro or not. So in this video, let's see and along maybe we'll also talk about the other phones in the market as well. So without further ado, let's roll. So first up, let's talk about the weight. It's around, it has a battery of 4000 mAh. So it's a little bit heavy, but still it's manageable. It's not so heavy. So it is a little bit manageable. Then let's talk about the hardware buttons. It does not have any hardware buttons. At first I was pretty bummed, but then I came to know about that. The software buttons, it'll get you more screen. Once update comes, it may even have gestures. So I was a little bit okay and then what happened the update came and we got the gestures as that of iPhone. It is not as smooth as iPhone but yeah it is pretty cool. Once you get used to it it's pretty cool you get the whole screen with for you to do whatever you want. Then let's talk about the launchers. I have the I have tried out Nova launcher, I have tried out MI launcher, I have tried out customized pixel launcher. I, have, I currently use the customized pixel launcher and it is pretty smooth it does not have any issues with any of these launchers then the biggest issue is it does not have a type c cable i mean type c adapter uh, with this price i thought it should had like a type c adapter at least instead it has micro usb so which is which is really bad because you those cables get destroyed easily and the speed is really low. Next, let's talk about the LED light. It has only a white color LED light as compared to other phones in this series from Redmi itself, like Mi A1 and stuff like that. So they had a multicolor LED, even Redmi Note 4 had a multicolor LED. Now this has just a white color LED. I'm not sure why is that. Now, the next thing is the build quality. The build quality is not so great. I would say the build quality is really bad. I had like, it fell from my hand around three or four times the first two times it was not a big fall it was a small fall so and i had something like i had to use my legs or something like that to like block the fall but the last fall i was sitting on my bike and it fell and it cracked it cracked really bad so i would suggest you to take care of your redmi note 5 pro if you have one and also if you're trying to buy one do buy a tempered glass uh, 5d gla curved glass would be the best best option and along with that put a good cover so I had put another cover which is not so good. I had put the MI cover itself which is not so good. Uh, yeah, put a temperature. The back cover is the MI cover which I had put. Instead you could buy other covers which are much more sturdier and which can protect the back camera as well. The back camera is protruding so that is also an issue. It may break. That also actually I had a crack in that. The next one is the 4GB and 6GB variant. I have tried using both of these phones and I did not find particularly any big difference between those. Both of these phones can play heavy gaming and I would suggest you to go for the 4GB version instead of the 6GB version because the 4GB version is, version is cheaper and it, it does almost all the work with the 6GB. So why do you even care for buying a 6GB version? Next, the sound quality. It does not have stereo speakers. It has only a mono speaker and compared with MA1 or the MA2 which have the stereo speakers. So I would suggest you to, if you are a little bit towards the sound and if you love sound and all, then I would suggest you to go for a better phone, MA1 because they have their own optical drivers, I mean like, or not optical drivers, sorry, sound drivers, audio drivers and uh, they have a better audio quality compared with the MI. It all though has the enhancement feature and stuff like that, but it's not so good the audio quality is not great it's it sound is really low but while I'm, while I'm calling the sound quality is really good if the sound is really high usually I like I will have to reduce the volume so that the other person cannot hear nearby the sound is not like other person cannot hear what we are saying 
Now let's talk about the camera. It has a 20MP selfie camera with LED flashlight. I found the LED flashlight not to be so great because it's just like a flashlight, like click and torch. So it's it's not so good, but the front camera with 20 megapixels is really good. You get a really good pictures with the front camera compared to the back camera. I found that the front camera takes much more better pictures compared to the back camera. But if you compare with the MIA1 or the latest coming MIA2, it the camera is way better in MIA1 and MIA2. So I have, we had even compared the MIA1 with the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the MIA1 really has a great camera. The details are really good and the MIA2 is much more better than the MIA1. So that's what we think from the images which we have got right now. So I hope that when MIA2 comes, we'll also do a comparison. So let's see what happened. Now let's talk about the call and the network connectivity. Uh, I found that the Redmi Note 5 Pro could, gets good connectivity and the network and the call drops are really low. Although it has some, it had some issues with geo connectivity, but uh, it's solved now and it now has even supports dual volt. So that is a great thing after updates. So the frequency of updates was really good and we got a really good bug fixes and stuff like that. But uh, currently the latest update is total. They have put on anti rollback. You cannot roll back if there is any bug, any issues. You cannot roll back to any other versions. So they are rolling that now. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's about the Android updates, and it has an Android 8.1.1, not 8.1.1, 8.1.0. So 8.1, which is uh, Android Oreo. So let's talk about the biggest thing, which is battery life. It has around one to two days of battery life. And if you use, if you are a heavy user like me, I play PUBG, I watch videos, YouTube, everything, and it stays for around one whole day. It has a 4000 mAh battery and it has quick charging, which you can use only if a, you have a quick charging charger or a power bank from MI, which has a 2, 2 ampere output. Then let's talk about the face unlock. The face unlock is really fast, it's really good. At first I used to use face unlock, but it started to tend, like grow on me like whenever I use it's face unlock. So I, I actually switched it off. Instead I am using my fingerprint. Uh, it's much more battery saving as well. If we compare with the Mi A1 or the Mi A2, the Redmi Note 5 design is not so good. It's not as sturdy. Mi A1 and Mi A2 are better phones with better sturdiness and it, uh, it has Android 1 program running. So you'll get the Android updates as soon as it roll out, rolls out. The Android updates in the Redmi Note 5 Pro was really slow. The and even the MIUI updates for the Redmi Note 5 Pro were slow. And Redmi Note 5 Pro seems to have got the latest updates at the last, at the end of all the other phones getting updates. So yeah, that's about that. And let's say if you talk about gaming, it is really good phone phone for gaming and it has no issues performing in gaming as well there is let then if you talk about heating while charging it has heating issue other than that it, i have not seen any heating issues for like even by using for high performance games or video editing tools the only issue while heating is when of heating is while charging while charging even if, if it's with quick charge it heats up around till 40 degrees so yeah, that is the only heating problem I had seen. But yeah, that's it. Uh, so after 100 days, what would I do? Hmm. If I get a chance to buy a Redmi Note 5 Pro, yeah, I would buy a Redmi Note 5 Pro because at that price, it is a good phone. It is a budget phone, but uh, I bought it at previous time. At present, it's around 15,000. So I would not buy it. I think I would wait for the Mi A2. I would... Uh, invest a little bit more i think mi2 would be around 17000 so i would invest a little bit more and buy mi2 because mi2 seems to be a better phone or even mi1 the mi1 is old but still it is a better camera it has a better camera it has better uh, it has better steadiness so yeah in, in some features redmi note 5 pro is good like the 18 to 9 aspect ratio is good the full screen and the screen screens vivid it has full hd so yeah that's it. I hope that you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, please leave a like and also share this video with your friends. And subscribe to Guys for more such videos. So until next time, bye bye.